Ripple and XRP are not slowing down when it comes to the partnerships the payment company is having with the banks and financial institutions all around the world. The past few months have been really important for Ripple and XRP as they made some huge partnerships with the major banks. Just recently, the largest financial institution in the Middle East and Africa joined Ripple for cross-border payments. In today's video, you will know all about the partnership, how both the companies are going to benefit from the collaboration, and what will be the impact on the digital asset. You will also know about the current market situation of XRP. But before we get to the video, welcome back everyone to Crypto Millionaires, a channel where you get your daily dose of XRP. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for daily XRP news. Now, let's get to the video. So, despite the ongoing lawsuit with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Ripple and XRP have made a strong foothold in Asia, Middle East, and Africa. Just like all other major partnerships, Ripple has recently announced a huge partnership with the largest bank in the Middle East and Africa. The reason behind the partnership is the technology that Ripple has for cross-border payments through its on-demand liquidity or ODL corridor. The Qatar National Bank, or QNB, revealed its collaboration with Ripple Labs on a cross-border remittance project in a press release issued earlier this week. QNB will pilot Ripple's financial technology network, RippleNet, with QNB Finance Bank in Turkey as part of a group deployment, with intentions to extend into other corridors in the future. Heba Al Tamami, general manager for group retail banking at QNB, said that QNB always innovates to provide the best of service to its customers. And this partnership is yet another fintech initiative of the bank to enhance the product offerings for our customers. In response of this huge partnership, Navin Gupta, managing director, South Asia, and MENA at Ripple said, We are excited to be strategic partner with QNB bringing together innovations in banking and fintech to enhance the cross-border payments experience and ultimately scale QNB's remittance service on RippleNet into additional markets. With a young, tech-savvy population that continues to move money, the firm is a leader in digital payments and remittances. The company shared the news in a tweet saying, We're excited to partner with QNB Group to provide an enhanced cross-border payments experience in Qatar and ultimately scale QNB's remittance service on RippleNet into additional markets. Just like most other of the Ripple partnerships, this is also huge. Qatar National Bank's network of affiliate companies operates in over 31 countries across three continents. According to reports, the QNB group spans across over 31 countries through its subsidiaries and associate companies. The group extends over three continents with 28,000 employees. Through its subsidiaries and associate companies, the QNB Group serves nearly 20 million customers operating through 1,000 locations with a massive ATM network. Now this partnership is another example of the bank's fintech efforts to broaden product offerings for its clients. QNB plans to use RippleNet to improve cross-border payments and expand its remittance operations internationally. This partnership will allow QNB clients to receive payments in near real time, providing them with a unique and differentiated experience. Over the years, remittances to Turkey have remained high. In the year 2020, it received approximately $1 billion in remittances from around the world. This prompted Qatar to begin this relationship by resolving remittances to Turkey before expanding to other RippleNet countries. About Turkey, the country is also a global leader in digital payments. Before this partnership, Azimo, another online remittance service, also opened a Turkish remittance corridor, and at that time, the COO, Dora Zembra, noted the importance of Turkey by stating, With a diaspora of nearly 7 million people, Turkey is a fantastic market for remittance providers. It is therefore stunning that Turkey remittances have remained slow and expensive for so long. Azimo is making instant transfers the standard for the cross-border payment industry, and this service is the latest step on that journey. So you can see, all the companies and countries are not just some ordinary companies. All the major banks and financial institutions adopt Ripple for their ease. Despite the lawsuit, Ripple is getting recognition and adoption around the world while the state of the XRP remains unclear in the USA. The announcement of this recent partnership came when the central banks of Singapore and Malaysia revealed that their customers will be able to perform real-time cross-border financial transfers using a mobile number starting in the first quarter of 2022. According to the Payments.com, the Monetary Authority of Singapore, or MAS, and the Bank of Negra Malaysia, or BNM, announced the project last week, calling it a phased linkage of the payment systems operated by PayNow in Singapore and Malaysia's Do It Now. This year has also seen Cambodia's Central Bank and May Bank of Malaysia work together on digital cross-border money transfers, 
with the National Bank of Cambodia and Maybank facilitating transfers via the bank's e-wallets, Bakong, and the MAE app. To bring things full circle, 2021 began with Ripple announcing it had entered into an arrangement under which the Malaysian mobile wallet provider Mobile Money and Bcash, a provider of mobile financial services to more than 45 million people in Bangladesh, will conduct transactions using the RippleNet network. Ripple revealed last month that it was assisting Bhutan's Royal Monetary Authority in the development of a central bank digital currency, or CBDC. The central bank will use Ripple's private ledger to issue and administer the digital engultrum as part of the cooperation. The desire to improve cross-border payments promoted the agreement. The CBDC, according to Ripple, may expand financial inclusion for Bhutan's 800,000 residents while also assuring that rising transaction volumes have no negative impact on the country's carbon footprint. Here, one thing is to be noted. If Ripple and XRP are just some ordinary company and coin, then why are such larger institutions choosing only Ripple for this purpose? Ripple has the potential that no one can oversee. The current market situation is also getting better, and XRP has continued to maintain its position above the $1 mark. The total market capitalization of crypto market has reached above $2.3 trillion. Bitcoin has risen above $55,000 for the first time since May, indicating that cryptocurrencies are once again on the rise. According to the reports, smaller coins, which tend to move in tandem with Bitcoin, also rose this week, with Ethereum hitting a near three-week high of over $3,500 and XRP reaching $1.09. According to the daily charts, Ripple XRP has been stuck between the 20-day EMA, or $1.02, and the 50-day SMA, or $1.10, for the past few days. This shows that bulls are buying near the 20-day EMA, while bears are defending the 50-day SMA. Ripple price action has regained bullish momentum so far this month. After a more than week-long consolidation and an increasingly tighter range, a base was established above 90 cents. According to reports, by the end of September, the support was retested several times, leading to a strong rally on the 1st of October. XRP USD eventually peaked at $1.09 on the 3rd of October, with the following retractment establishing support at $1.01. Since then, the Ripple price action has slowly moved back higher. Overnight, XRP USD reached the $0.09 cent resistance once again, with further upside not seen. Therefore, bulls are exhausted, and we should see XRP retrace back to $1.01 cent again. Overall, the market is good for XRP as the payment company behind the coin is making progress regardless of the Ripple SEC lawsuit. The recent partnerships are also having a positive impact on the price, and with a little victory in the lawsuit, we can see the price soar to new highs. According to the coin market cap, at the time of writing, the XRP price today is $1.08 USD, with a 24-hour trading volume of $3.8 billion USD. XRP is down 0.26% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is number 6, with a live market cap of $50.4 billion USD. It is a circulating supply of 46.7 billion XRP coins and a max supply of 100 billion XRP coins. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help to you. What do you think about the massive Ripple partnerships? Share your views in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the bell icon and thanks for watching.